Hi there. Welcome to Art. So this week we're honoring Dr. Martin Luther King by looking at the artwork of African American artists. And there are many of them. One of my favorites are the Quilters of G's Bend. These are women who had very little money and used what they had to make things for their family. Now they started out just making warm quilts from leftover squares of fabric, but they made them so beautifully, they turned into art. And that's what we're going to do today. We are going to use fabric squares like this and make some beautiful quilts like this kindergartner did, a quilt square, just like the ladies of G's Bend. And who knows, maybe one day your art will end up in a museum just like theirs do. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So for this project, you're going to need a piece of background paper. I did a square of black paper. I need a paintbrush and some Elmer's glue. I, I pour it out in a little cup because it's much easier for me. I have it in a nice little container. You also need some scraps of fabric. Now, at home, if you have scraps, you can do it however you want. I have cut lots of little scraps of different uh, sizes and different colors. And we'll arrange them in your room so that you can go shopping from our little fabric store. Here's how you go shopping. Start with a bigger piece of fabric. Then find one that's a little bit smaller. Go round the thing. That one's not showing up too well. Maybe I will get one that's a little brighter. That shows up nicely. Now I need a smaller size down. How about maybe, oh, wait a minute, I changed my mind. I like this green one. And then I'm going to find another size smaller. There's a red one. There's a nice, ooh, that one's smaller. That fits right in the middle. You notice I haven't glued it down yet. I'm trying it to see how I like it. I might even like to make it go this way. You decide. I think I need a final finishing touch of something little in the middle. It could be a darker blue square. Whoop. Here's a nice little orange one. When I like what I have, I am going to go back and glue it. Take just a dab of glue on the back. Dab, put it down, pick it up, dab again, maybe a little dabbing in the corners. It doesn't need a huge amount, but make sure you get enough to make it stick. Four little dabs, press it down. I'm gonna do some more dabs here, 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 and here. You get the idea. Get your dabs down. Whoops, I have two pieces there. Put them together. Make sure you get that final big one glued down. This is getting tricky, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to try to pick it up. I'm just picking up the corner. In fact, I could have done that earlier, too. If it's easier, just pick up the corners, put down a little glue where you know it won't be sticking out, and you'll have a great design. Now you could say I'm all done, or you could go back shopping again and find some small things that you might like to add to your picture. How about those triangles? I could glue those right there, that looks nice. You're being just like the ladies of G's Bend. You're putting together wonderful colors to make a very special, special present for your family. Thank you for taking your time to do a good job. And don't forget to send me a picture of your work. I can't wait to see it.